Hi guys, so I don't know if you caught this or not, but McCall's just had a $1.99 pattern sale. Um, actually, we didn't even talk to each other about it. We <laughs> saw each other at yoga one day and I mentioned the sale and she's like, well, I got the sale too. So we both um, ordered a bunch of patterns, didn't even know we were doing it. Um, so we wanted to share our little McCall's haul with you, let you know what we picked and what we think we might make with it. So I'll start first. Okay. Um, we also don't know what we picked, so. We'll see curious how to see like what style. you got. How, how so similar styles are. I got first one here is a button up dress. It's M7380. See here? It's just a classic kind of button up dress, but it is a little different. I do have two other button up dress patterns that I've already sewn, but I got this one because um, it's got a hidden button placket. My other two don't have that, so I like that it has that. And it also has um, a little elastic gathering just in the center back. So it kind of cinches in at the back waist there, um, and then it, it's a little gathered underneath of it. So I thought that was really cute. I'll be making the sleeveless version um, uh, probably out of a chambray. So Yeah, super cute. I can totally see you in that one. My first one, um, I'm not sure if you follow McCall's on Instagram or not, but they actually did feature this one because if you've seen in magazines or in stores, the whole lace up bodice mm -hmm. detail mm -hmm. is everywhere right now. People are just really gravitating toward that. So I picked M7391 um, simply because it had that wonderful lace up detail. I think it'd be really cute in really kind of any shirting. Um, I kind of sort of dig the suede dress version here. I don't think it's very practical Sweet, for Charleston. No, that's true. You know that. <laughs> it would be so <laughs> hot. But, um, but chambray is an obvious choice or even like a light gauze, mm -hmm. you know, that could yeah. be really cute too. Um, so there's sleeveless version, long sleeve version with the button tabs. Um, so yeah, probably some kind of light shirting, mm -hmm. but gonna have to get to work on those grommets for yeah. sure. All right, very cool. So the next one I picked is a skirt. It's M7392, and I picked it mainly because of the scallops. I actually attempted this when I first started sewing. I don't know why I ever thought as a beginner sewer I could make scallops look nice, but it was a complete disaster, and it went into the trash. So <laughs> now that I'm a little more experienced, I'd love to give this a try. Um, the Lily Pulitzer skirts that have the scallops, and they have the shorts. I'm, I just love those, but they're so expensive. Yeah. So I would really love to do this myself. Um, it's got a placket down the front. Um, you can choose snaps for it. Um, now that you have your cool snap tool that we shared about in your in our April favorites, I might be borrowing that from <laughs> you. Um, I'm probably gonna give it a try out of snap. So that that one. Yeah, when, I don't know what their method is. I did do scallops on a pair of shorts that actually did turn out really well. I got some interesting tips, so we'll we'll compare those and then maybe yeah. we'll do a scallop tutorial video. If you guys are interested in knowing how to do that, leave it in the comments below and we can get to work on that for y'all. Yeah. So the next um, pattern is another top pattern. I really feel like tops are missing from my catalog of patterns. So I really focused on trying to find some really cool, interesting tops. So I picked up this one mostly for version D that has that waterfall going down the side. I think that's just such an interesting detail. And you can't see it from here, but the back actually just goes down to a V. It's not a, a standard strap that goes parallel down your back. It goes into a cute V in the back. Um, so I really love that version. I have a lot of like silks and rayons mm -hmm. and things like that in my stash already, um, depending on the yardage. I imagine that little dude I think he does take up quite a bit of yardage. Probably. But the other versions are cute too. Um, this one has kind of just like a center, not really a pleat, it's just like an overlay yeah. almost. Um, so I don't know, lots of them are cute. I don't know about the lace overlay one though. I'm not. So I picked the same one and I purchased it because of the overlay. Because of the lace overlay? Because when we were in New York City, um, I picked up that black um, lace mm -hmm. and it's got the um, fringe at the mm -hmm. end so I thought it'd be cute to overlay that with that and just do solid black underneath well we'll see maybe we'll make both of our versions and yes. then people can vote yes <laughs> overlays are just everywhere right now so yeah I really that's liked. true and I like the keyhole back and that too yeah like the keyhole classic back. keyholes yeah so I guess that takes that one out of my pile, yeah. but anyway, it's got plenty of others. So my next one here is M6931. 
just a simple elastic gathered skirt. I don't know why I picked it up. I think I just really like how maybe they styled it in the picture. And I also <laughs> really like the amount of gathering. Um, so instead of having to think about creating my own, because you can create your own, I'd rather dress for $1.99. Yeah. Um, if I really like the amount of gathering they have and the length, um, then I'm just going to use the pattern. So I really like this. I've got lots of rayons um, in my stash right now. So I'm planning on making the long one with a slit. So here. What do you think that. about the color blocking down the center? Would you ever try that? Probably not. That's not mm. quite me. Yeah. I mean, maybe if I had two fabrics that were kind of, you know, they're yeah. in the same shape. But anyway. honestly, with the right fabric and the drape on that is going to look so cute and yes. I love the wide elastic band you yes. don't really see that a lot on well and skirts. two I wonder what the elastic is notions two inch elastic. two inch okay so also in our April <laughs> favorite, I true. shared that I buy my elastic on a roll because I make a lot of things with elastic so two inch elastic that's what I already have so that's yeah. perfect yeah I think you'll get a lot out of that yeah even though it seems pretty simple okay so the next one, I don't know what you guys think of this one. It could be a I little raunchy. <laughs> um, I'm not sure that I'm down yeah, for the love. belly button <laughs> opening, but what I do love is this crossover mm -hmm. bodice, mm -hmm. which is really, really cute. And even if I didn't want to sew the pants, which I probably wouldn't, I just not a fan of like a jumpsuit that's so tailored like that. Um, I probably would do the shorts, but you can attach any bodice with a waistband to any skirt pattern with a waistband. So I could easily turn that into a dress. And I don't know, I just think like the folds that it makes is really cute and unique. And what you can't see is in the back, it almost creates like a mock collar, which is, which is really cute, I think. I will say for this version, the back, which is this, right? Nope, that's the front. The back of it does have an interesting... Oh, yeah. It's like it over, it folds over itself, so it does have a slit in the back, but it's lower on your back. It almost... You could totally mesh the two. Yeah, I think you could, yeah. too. Um, and create kind of like a, what I call a mullet outfit, where mm -hmm. it's business in the front and party in the back. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, so it creates like a keyhole opening from like the center of your back down to the waist seam, yeah. um, with like an overlap on top. So I, like I don't that. know, this wasn't something that I was initially like, yeah, I'm totally into having my entire cleavage exposed, <laughs> but I do appreciate the alternate version that yeah. they have here. So that's why I got it. And yeah, I would make this, gosh. I guess the fabric calls for, yeah, lightweight, um, like crepe, chalice, or chalice. Yeah, stable cotton knit. blend, stable knit. Um, so, yeah, I have like a black suiting fabric almost that could be kind of classic mm -hmm. that I could do. I guess it probably depends on what skirt I pick. If mm -hmm. I pick like a fitted skirt or flared skirt, mm -hmm. that would um, that would be the determining factor there. But, oh yeah, so that's M7366, if I didn't say already. All right, so next I have M7080, and I really like this because this has got the mock tuck bodice. So it looks like you're trying to pull off the crop top, which I'm just not sure that I'm brave enough to pull off. <laughs> um, so I like how it's like the fake out. Um, <laughs> super cute. I think um, this would look good with a lot of things. You know, I have that chambray eyelet mm -hmm. um, from the Style Maker Fabrics um, video that I did, and I ended up choosing to sew that out of a top. But if I still had that, that could look really cute as this dress. If you, you could even do just the um, eyelet on the top yeah. and then do a different fabric on the bottom if you had a solid chambray. I mm -hmm. think that'd be really cool to mix that up. But that is. That one. Yeah, you could do all kinds of um, fabric combinations mm -hmm. with that. You could do lace on top and a solid yeah. on bottom or color block. And here they have all of them out of the same fabric, which isn't bad either. I like it. I like the solid more than I like the prints, I think, like mm -hmm. that. But, I mean, you could even really get into some pattern matching. Mm -hmm. Maybe when we go to New York this year, you can find, like, the perfect scale and colors and maybe... Or maybe just keep it more classic. Probably. <laughs> your, more your style. Okay, so next up for me is M7360. And it's pretty much a basic half placket top. Um, it does have different sleeve versions and different pockets or no pockets. But um, it's got a 
what is that called like a mock collar what do they call those collars that are just um does it say hmm it doesn't call out the collar here but it's like a, a stand collar no collar stand? stand collar stand is on a true like button up collar oh Anyways, a collar that looks like that, whatever it's called, I can't think of it. Um, I actually don't have a half placket. I know that some of the indie, who's the indie mm -hmm. girl that just came out with a half placket? Oh, it's Hey June, um, is the pattern maker, uh, I Cheyenne Tunic. Yeah, yeah so, she's got one. Yeah, so I don't, I don't have that. Um, so I thought this would be really cute. And again, sticking with my theme of trying to get some tops. Um, mm -hmm. I thought this one would be really simple if you could make it out of anything under the sun. I might even get one of my boyfriend's old shirts and make it out of that. I think that that would be yeah. pretty easy to do as well. So yeah, I can see myself making this out of a bunch of different stuff. It says chambray, poplin, linen, and crepe de chine. So lots of variety there with that one. And mm -hmm. hair goals from the model. Her hair is so pretty. Oh yeah. Her hair is pretty, very long. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, next I have M7118. I mainly picked this one because it's got some really interesting back details. I'll try to turn around so you can see the line drawings. Um, but there's a lot of different things you can do with the back. It's got one is the, which is probably what I'm going to make. It's a really low V in the back. And I really, really like, um, I like, don't mind showing off my back. If I'm going to be bold, then that's where I'm going to try to show it. It also has crisscross straps and it also has just your, a keyhole but it's a it's a bigger keyhole it's not just a small keyhole and it comes down in a into a v kind of shape so i just really like this one for the back yep i have that one too already in my stash you do? yeah this was one of the ones that i almost made with my lily pulitzer fabric oh yep. yes yep. i remember you showed mm -hmm. sent me the pictures mm -hmm. yeah yeah yep cute okay here's something that i don't know many people might not immediately look at this and think wow that's something that i really want to make but I was kind of drawn to the olive green version. Remember those water repellent jackets that we made from mm -hmm. Sewaholics, like you Vancouver finished. collection? I, didn't finish. <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of envisioning that. Um, I kind of love how the hood is almost more like a robe mm -hmm. hood. It, it's not a hood that has a seam line that comes around your neck. It actually comes from the bodice up and over your head, if you can see version A there. And I like that it's cropped and super, super cinched at the mm -hmm. waist. I don't yeah. know. I just thought this could be so cool if you did it in the right kind of fabric and paired it with the right mm -hmm. kind of outfit. So um, this, you know, fashion wise is probably a little bit out there for me and maybe most of you too, but I don't know. It could be really cool yeah. if it comes out right. Well, actually I have a picture pinned on my Pinterest board that I really like. It's similar to the one that, um, it's the sleeveless, sleeveless one. and ahead. they paired it with a, I think it was navy and white. It was army green, kind of that canvasy, soft mm -hmm. canvas, um, and with a navy blue and white striped dress underneath, oh. and it was super cute as like a layered option. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see what I end up finding for this um, fabrics. They recommend crepe, cotton blends, ripstop, which is similar to mm -hmm. that raincoat fabric, and lint. Excuse me, excuse him. If he could talk, he would say, excuse me. Um, and linen. And then there's this lace version that, I mean, maybe for somebody. You never know. You never know. It could be cute. Anyway, yeah. so that's M7333. And that's all for me since you oh, have. Oh, okay. I have the same. three more. Whoa, girl. I know. I bought eight. And this one, it was immediately in my cart because I've been wanting to make a tissue hem dress mm -hmm. for years, for years and years. And I don't know. I've just never really picked up a pattern um, for it before. So I grabbed this one. It's a very straightforward bodice. Um, nothing fancy on the front or the back. Um, the detail is really all about that tissue hem, and mm. I just can't wait to make it. It does require a significant amount of fabric, yeah. but I think it's going to be really, really cute. I don't know. I want to make it out of out of everything. The fabric requirements are pretty vast. You can, you know, make it out of any any fabric, really. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to go for, like, a clingy silk or anything like that. Um, maybe a voil would be kind of mm -hmm. nice. You yeah. just want something that would drape correctly and yeah. flow correctly so yeah that's that one and then i grabbed this 
I'm not 100% sure why now that I'm looking at it. <laughs> I think I was really drawn to C. And now that I look at it in person, it's kind of 80s-ish. But I don't know. I wear I little... <laughs> I wear little cover-ups to the gym, especially after yoga. I get mm -hmm. so cold. Like, my body, even if it's hot outside, is just really, really cold. Um, so I like to have a little zip-up. And I thought it'd be kind of cool to make one myself rather than buying them. We both have subscriptions or whatever you call it to um, Fabletics. Fabletics, yeah. So maybe this one won't get made right away, but maybe it will. Who knows? Yeah. yeah. And then lastly, this again was inspired by just seeing a lot of stuff in the stores and on the runways and things like that. But the bodice that comes up to a neckband like this one does, I've been seeing a lot of places. I think mainly the inspiration comes from Kelly Ripa. I don't know. I feel like she wears this kind of style a lot. Mm -hmm. She has really great shoulders, mm -hmm. really muscular arms. Um, it's kind of a little bit like this one. Mm -hmm. um, but I think this one is even more drastic. And then the back just has two spaghetti straps that bring it down to meet the um, the bodice. So that's M6883. Um, and yeah, I can make this out of, again, just about anything. It would also be really great out of a voile. It has some really awesome seaming details there. It doesn't have a waistband, but it does have those really long pleats on the front and on the back. So it's really shapely and um, would be really flattering, hopefully. So... We'll see. I kind of like the hem band better than the high low. Hmm. Yeah, think? I guess it depends on the fabric you pick. Yeah, I like how they contrasted. They matched the mm -hmm. the neck band and the hem band. I think that that's really cute. Anyways, okay, so that is our wow. McCall's haul. <laughs> um, you know, anytime that they have a big sale, like two dollar patterns. Yes, I'm. I'm going to be on there right away to try and find um, some of their new stuff. So hopefully you found some patterns that you really like. Mm -hmm. I don't think the sale is going on any longer, unfortunately. No, but they do do but it do. again. I mean, it's not like one time a year. Right. And the patterns will stay in production for a mm -hmm. while, too. So keep checking back um, with them and or just splurge. <laughs> hey, who are we to say what you can afford and what you can't? Um, but if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up um, and leave a comment to let us know which one of these patterns was your favorite mm -hmm. or help us settle the score, whether it should be a lace overlay or not. Mm -hmm. You weigh in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and um, follow us on social media. We are at Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, and Instagram, Inside the Hem, everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, um, so, did I say subscribe? Because you definitely should. Yeah. You should totally subscribe. <laughs> that way you don't miss any of the videos that we post. They will email you and let you know whenever we posted something. And it's completely free. Yeah. All this wonderful, wonderful fun. Wonderful knowledge. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.